Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to take 15 grams of a molecular compound, which this molecular compound is dinitrogen pentaoxide, and I'm going to show you how to go from grams of this, which is grams of the entire compound, to just moles of the nitrogen atoms. Okay, we're going to be using uh, stoichiometric calculations to do this. Okay, you write down the given, which our given is 15.0 grams of N2O5. That's our given. We're going to put it over 1. Now, please make sure that you know this, that you know that there are two nitrogen atoms and that there are five oxygen atoms in this compound. Okay? Now, I know the smallest part of a compound is a molecule, but I'm looking at the, at the individual elements. Okay, so our next step is to match up our units diagonally. Down here will be grams of N2O5. Now, we need the molar mass. And the molar mass of this is 108.010 grams, grams per mole. Now, that's in one mole of N2. Whoops, of N2O5. Sorry, I was listening to the kids in the other room. Now, the next step is to do this. If this is one mole of N2, I'm going to match it up diagonally down here. One mole of N2O5. Now, let's look at this. I've got two moles of nitrogen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write two moles of nitrogen. Now you can write atoms down here if you want to or you don't have to, but I know there's two moles of nitrogen here. Now if you write atoms, that's okay. Anyway, there's the units on it. Now, we need a calculator to finish this problem out. Uh, notice that all you have on the top is 15 times 2, so let's punch that into the calculator. Uh, 15 times 2 is 30. I want to take that 30 and I want to divide it by the 108.010. And I get this number. I get 0 0.27775206. Uh, but I only need three sig figs. So my answer is 0 0.27775206. Eight moles of nitrogen. Okay, and if you want to write atoms on there, that's okay too. Nitrogen atoms. And that's how you do that calculation. Now, this was actually kind of nice that they gave us the, uh, the molar mass because that saved us a lot of time. But just remember that if you're trying to figure out how many there are um, as far as individual atoms, you look at the subscripts and they'll tell you. Uh, quick example. If they just gave you the N2O5, you know that there are uh, two uh, nitrogen atoms. Uh, there are five oxygen atoms. Okay. Now, if they gave you a number in the front, say they gave us a four in the front of this. I'm just making this up to give you an example. If they had four into O5, you would have eight nitrogen atoms and you would have 20 oxygen atoms. It's kind of like it's a multiplier. Anyway, that's the last tidbit pieces of information. So, I hope this video helped.